Drawing on graph paper reminds us of graph paper hard copies or graph paper drawing software. Excel can be your savior in this case. Using Excel, you can not only create graph papers, but also draw on it. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulbim from Excel Demi, your one-stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA-related answers. Here is a blank worksheet. On this, we will learn how to make graph paper in Excel. We will discuss 5 steps with the help of Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. First, let's go to the View tab. And from the Workbook Views, click on Page Layout. Now we can see our layout is changed. Now go to Page Layout tab. Here, we can see Page Setup Group. Click on Margins dropdown. Here, go to Custom Margins. Here, set 1.25 for top, bottom, left and right. And set 0.5 for header and footer. Make sure to check these boxes so that your page is horizontally and vertically center on page. Okay. Now, we want to insert a table. Let's go to Insert tab and from the Tables group, Click on table or we can go along with the keyboard shortcut Control T. And here let's select our table range as A1 to H14. Okay. Now we can see that our table is already selected and we get a new tab which is table design. Also we can see that there are some of the options that are selected by default in the table styles options. Let's unselect all of them. There we are. Now you can see that our first row is already removed due to column headers. Let's delete that. Right click on one and click on delete. Now we want to adjust our row height and column width. For that, you can click on control A or this top left triangle. So all our cells are selected and let's click on any of the columns and right click on it. From the context menu, click on column width. Let's select 0.25 inches. Okay. And for the row height, let's click on row height from the context menu and 0.25 inches here as well. Okay. Now we need to customize the table to fit. On the table, if you scroll down, we can see that there is a small right angle at the bottom right corner of the selected table branch. Now as we move our cursor here, we get this icon. So using this, we can select the range and edit this as we want. Let's scroll a bit upwards. To make it in a different color or style, let's go to table design tab and from the table styles, click on the drop down and we can see a lot of available options here. Let's go along with this one and we can see that our cell borders are changed in different color. Now let's go to view tab and from the workbook views, click on normal. It will get us our worksheet view. Now we want to save our Excel file. For that, let's go to file tab and go to save as. Here. We can see that the name is mentioned here and make sure to save it as Excel Workbook or XLSX extension. Click on save. This is how we can create graph paper in Excel. Now you might have questioned how to print graph paper in Excel. For that, you need to go to file tab and click on print. Cross check the setup if that matches with your requirement and you can see the print preview from this section if you want you can change the orientation to landscape there we are you need to click on print and it will start to get printed using this elaborate steps you can create graph paper in excel as well you can practice this with the help of excel file in the description box below let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section share your suggestions and feedback as well stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon like and share the video if it helps you thanks for watching